don't want to overdo it. Don't want to make it look like an old Woody. Like an old Woody. Like an old Woody. I wonder who that person is. We need to talk to them. Lock the uh, goes into that. Gee, somebody should uh, make an instructional video on how to do this. <laughs> Not very heavy. Really? No. In comparison to what we normally wow. move around. What's this? It's a windscreen. This is a, 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 yeah, that's a technical term. Yeah. Here we go into the shop with the windscreen. I ran into the Gary at Lowe's. Oh, that's cool. The other day. He's really, 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 really interested and excited and asking if we needed anything. And I said, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we need that transmission mount. Any idea? And he said it wasn't on the van when he got it. But he, he put that transmission in, he said. Oh, that's good to know. He said he was looking at getting an, uh, a dual port engine out of a Carmen Ghia for that. But, you know, I mean, of course, that was 14 years ago, so. so there's a bar and then there's a rubber mount. There's too. the, yeah, the rubber mount is, there's rubber on, it's like, it almost looks like a. Trapezoid rubber. Oh, tuning things. fork. Yeah. No, it, it's, it almost looked like a guitar hook on the wall. Okay. And that is what bolts to the underside of that frame member. Okay. So there's a half moon. And Gary knew he didn't have it. In it, yeah. And okay. then, so all we need is that bar that fits up underneath. I kind of wish this was like the old Frankenstein movies. So where did this windshield come from? Huntington Beach, California. Beach, yeah. California. It's called Pier Side Park. I love it. Let me get a bag to put this. Uh... So I wonder if we can pull that up out of the plastic if we get the whole top oh, yeah, you know, or, or... exposed. Don't tell me how much the window was until I can get it out. <laughs> yeah, it'll just slide right out if you get the top free on your side. I think it was fairly reasonable actually. Yes. Migrant Glass Company. M-I-G-R-A-N-T. Let's step in front of this box. Push the box. Do not let any edge of the glass touch steel. <laughs> it looks like it's, it's, it's the right fit. Very you, good. You think? Yep. Okay, so... See that this recesses up inside of a two li like little galleys in the in the frame, and and this is the 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 torsion bar. This is what holds everything together. The rear suspension is attached to this, and this is the the main rear component of the frame. There are two bolt holes, so this thing it's just a block of steel. That's kind of like the reverse of this up in here. That's below. That just bolts on and holds this thing in place. We just need a block of steel about this long, about that wide, with the same half hole slots in it. And right. then that just bolts up on here. This is rubber mounted. This is just to keep the front end, the front of the transmission from sagging, okay. is, is all. I've not been able to find one for sale anywhere. I don't even know what it's called. When you call the transmission mount, everybody refers to this fork thing here. And that is readily available. And then we need to do a cross member all the way across the rear to mount to the frame and we'll have something like that fabricated but I think if we just do a crossbar across the bottom to mount the transmission firmly uh, w with the frame I think we'll be fine some um, companies have offered an aftermarket rear uh, transmission mount but we haven't been able to find one that fits this model transporter. So um, this is a 1974. So if anybody knows anything about uh, the, the engine stabilizer at the rear of the transmission and maybe a hard mount for the front, that would probably be beneficial for this. Man, this thing's in good shape. Yeah, what do you think, Doc? So he put this transmission in because the guy that took the motor, took the motor in transmission, presumably? Yes. 
And now, a Frederick find. Brought to you by premium weathered handmade wooden furniture and structures. But in this locker, which was locked, they broke into it, and I still can't, I can't get it open. There were seven bottles of ancient, ancient age bourbon with the old IRS tax stamp on it. And one had a Maryland uh, tax decal on it. So with extensive research, I tracked it down to between 1961 and 1971. So I had seven bottles. One, the label was just trashed. It was still sealed. I'm like, I'm going to drink it. So I opened it up last night, and it's... <laughs> It's actually, um, it was distilled by Buffalo Trace Distillery, and they do Pappy Van, Van Winkle and um, Blanton's. Uh, the remaining six bottles, they offered me $465. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, cha-ching. <laughs> oh. Let's perk last. Yeah, there it is. So they offer the entire kit. Yeah, yeah so it's this... This and front. and are we getting the standard or the deluxe style? You no, think? The, the, not without. I was going to get that's California the deluxe. Style. Okay, yeah. So standard is the is without the little chrome strip. Yeah. From the it's supposed to be from the the inside. You pull this out and it just folds over and you pop the window out. That's a, a small concern yeah. there. The way it's pushed up, that should probably be the bodywork should probably be done so that, that. Has, that has to come out anyway though. yeah all right cool yeah let's get that fuel tank out of there because we have a lot of oh. is that something we need to do that or we need to uh, youtube it? oh we're just going to yank it out going to get some light and i think it's all phillips screws so let me get my screw because i saw there was a build where they have the batteries like two batteries where the fuel tank is i'm hoping these bolts don't break Mainly because we may want to put this panel back. So, I guess you call this, is this a, a valance? What would you call this? There's a screw missing. It must have rattled out in one of the 90,000 miles. That one might be a problem. Nope, came right out. I remember years ago when they first, the first battery drills came out. They had a light on them, and I made fun of them. I was like, who the hell would want a light on, on a battery drill? And now, I can't leave that one. This is what it looks like when we get that off. Oh, nice. Oh, so it's just strapped in there. Oh, well, that's what we're expecting. Uh, <laughs> oh, I think that might be for something that's hanging on the... Oh, that comes off with the with the thing, but it it might attach to the. But I, I got a small pry bar that I can't find. All right, watch your eyes. Here it is. You got it down below. Okay. Oh look, we had a we had a repair. Interesting. So that has been off recently, um, but that's no big deal. I've got <laughs> tools everywhere. If I if I would just organize myself, of course, if you don't have the tools, it can't do the work. So. Okay, it's smaller than that. Well, actually, what I really need to do, in fact, I have to clear them out. I tore down an old building, and inside was a whole rooms worth of hospital cabinets and I'm thinking about putting those together in groups on wheels with lower and upper cabinets in groups so I can just roll them around the shop and use bowling lane as the, the workspace on I think that might be a nice economical solution you know growing up I was always thought that air tools were really cool, you know? But when you're doing delicate work on old stuff like this, it just tears things up, so. Hand tools are the way to go. Okay, now that, that strap is twisted. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side and remove the other strap. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yep, that's a bigger bolt. Oh, you're getting it up there, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get this off. And then, and then okay, okay. it looks like it's probably a 15 millimeter or bigger. It's 11 sixteenths. There it is. You know, the old heat exchanger hoses, we won't need those. So we can get rid of those. One thing we will need to get, we're going to have to also go through the box of the boxes of ancillary stuff that came along with it. There, I mean, there are a little a few odds and ends here and there that probably wouldn't, wouldn't hurt to know what we have. Okay, there's a clip where that copper line goes on the top of the tank. This one's connected with a, a flexible line, so we can pull that out. Actually, we should probably just go ahead and cut those. These are just copper pipes. That's for the evaporation, the early attempt at emissions. Um, that's a tight fit. Pull that out of the way because we don't need this anymore. Quarter inch copper too bad. Okay. Now, this wire is for the fuel center. Feels like it's up against something, but there's nothing on top. Yeah, that's what's holding this up. It's a filler neck. Okay, it's a Phillips. Boy, that's on there. how we're gonna it's hard to get in there to even try on it okay there's a fuel cylinder we'll go ahead and disconnect that won't be needing that anymore Under. just get the saws all and cut the hose because we want to save all these screws, of course. Um, we'll go ahead and pull that interior panel off. Disconnect the fill and neck. See these little, those little rings are very important because they hold the little plastic caps. It's not, not just a washer. Pull that seat post probably and we also need a new one of these that's the rubber pull handle for the back seat uh, release also we're missing the interior holder thing for this because there's the keeper on the inside of that handle and I don't remember or know what goes on the inside I know there's a screw to hold it in place it's hazardous if you drop it on your toe didn't laugh because it's a right? Oh, look at that. If anybody needs to know the part number for that, there it is. Okay, I am stumped. Oh, it might just, it might just pull off. So we'll go ahead and remove the filler neck. I think it's just attached to the exterior here. Do you know anybody who belongs to the Wine of the Month Club? I need a box. I kind of need it today or tomorrow so I can ship, ship out that bourbon. 91 octane uh, minimum is what it uh, asked for. Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. So that hose just had a flange on the outside. The hose is disconnected. That thing ought to just pull out now. <laughs> I don't know if we can wiggle it out. Huh. Oh, you know what? That electric motor's in the way too. That's what's impeding your progress. 
got the motor out of the way a little bit. I might as well go ahead and remove that. 10 millimeter. Definitely have heard of the death tanks for a bitch. They're, they're in there. So what, that's a, what is that? This is the blower for your heat. Oh, okay. And it's uh, either obsolete or uh, revisited at a later time. There's your fan relay for your heater fan. In the Model Y, it's called the Octo Valve. Is that like Octo Mom only? Probably still works. Put that on the sell on eBay. Uh, and soon to be coming with a gas tank. Okay, so now let's see with that motor out of the way. At least I can get to that hose now. They make a thingy for that. I have one. I just don't know where it is. I don't want your... Give it another little pop here. Oh, we got hell's room here. Very interesting. Huh. Okay, so that firewall... Is actually bolted on with a bracket. I thought it was an integral part of the body. It's well sealed, um, you know, because that's the firewall, but it's actually bolted with those two brackets. If we would have to take it off, we could, but those, um, those tank strap brackets look like they're spot welded on. So. And, and then the control box, there's plenty of room over here for that. So we can do a slick little thing for that. Nice. And then over here on this side, there's plenty of room for the for the battery charger to go, and that's a, the shortest run from the battery to the charger. Yeah, I've never, I, in all my Volkswagen that I've owned, I've never worked on a, on a transporter. There it is, okay, good. So there's, we don't need that. Well, you can put your yeah, weed in there. Pages, yeah. Right? Yeah. A good hiding place. Well, uh, I hope you all are in enjoying our conversion. It's fun. I mean, even though I'm mechanically inclined and all, uh, electric vehicles are really new to me. Thanks to uh, our producer and camera guy. He has gone down the rabbit hole. He also has uh, an electric vehicle. So we'd like to invite you to follow all our socials. E is for EV on all the socials. If you have any light bulbs that go off uh, while we're doing the conversion, if you see something um, that we haven't gotten to yet, or you think of something that might be a, ni a nice little hack, please let us know in the comments. We definitely want to make this accessible uh, for everyone. And we also want to incorporate in any ideas that anybody might have. Also, if you want to follow my, uh, my exploits in the Barnwood realm, I am Barnwood Guy on Instagram, and also I have a page on Facebook called Premium Weathered. There's my little logo um, on my DeWalt. And also, while I enjoy this hams, <laughs> we wanna, wanna invite you guys to come back next time. Um, I think we have to, did, did I miss anything? No. no. Comments, extremely important, please. Uh, even if you think it's something that is silly or, or that is obvious, you know, a lot of times when you're working on a project as daunting as this, sometimes the most obvious thing just isn't isn't there. You can't see the forest for the trees. So please um, keep us posted, fill in the comments, reach out to us on all the socials, tell your friends. If you're working on or if you own a Volkswagen bus, tell us about it. We we want to see uh, we want to see your tips and tricks. We want to see what you've done to customize your bus. Um, and uh, so thanks for joining us for the EV Combi, and uh, we'll see you next time.